who must have lost his mate and possibly his own chicks. Although severely injured, his desire to be a father is as strong as ever. Now the captive families are not too pleased to see him, they're so territorial. But he can hear those orphans someplace. Now where are they? There they are. So near, but yet so far. But they want him as much as he wants them. Now he spent the next two days hanging around the pens. And then early one morning, I spotted them on the move with his new family in tow. This little guy has somehow managed to escape Fort Knox and Dad is leading him back to the wild. He'll show him how to find food and how to stay hidden. What a great sight. Let's hope they make it. Kieran is out looking for pairs whose nests have failed, but all he's found so far are happy families. And this is a partridge family in all its glory. A sight that may never have been filmed in Ireland before. There are more than 20 chicks here and three adults. Sometimes an uncle or an aunt of the juveniles will join the covey because they are usually pairs that have failed to produce their own chicks. So in a, in a covey you'll have the juveniles plus the parents plus maybe an uncle or an auntie along with them. So they're very, very social creatures and they watch out for one another. And the, chick, the parents will defend to the death of chicks. They never ever abandon their chicks. They're, the loyalty of them is really something to behold. And when you have so many kids to look after, it can be really useful to have an extra pair of hands. This little chick has been left behind, but Uncle has heard its anxious cries and goes back to find him. All back together again. What an amazing sight. Now Kieran eventually does spot a pair without chicks. That's just what he's been looking for. Their nest must have failed for some reason, but their desire to be parents will be still as strong as ever. Little do they know that Kieran has a treat in store for them. Hey Kieran, how's it going? Hey Colin, how are you doing? Is this turned off? So why don't you try it? <laughs> I know it is, yeah, go it on. Is. I've been zapped by them a few times. Right, not nice experience. It's not the best, not the best. Are these the little orphans? These are the ones that are going to catch them up. They're looking a bit lively. Yeah, they are, yeah. Well, they're stone hammers mad, which is exactly the way we want them. Strap yourself in for the show. <laughs> thanks. And see what happens. Yeah. And you're not I'd... coming out until you got all those. Right, thanks. You have, you have some fun now, watching me. I know. Let the games begin. So, I thought I got two there, but I only got one. Into the black hole. Into the black hole. Come on. <laughs> like George Best here. Oh. 
Now, the fact that these birds are so wild and scared of Kieran is essential to their survival in the wild. On your right, on your right. The last thing you want to do is to release tame birds. Got you. Now, it's for their own good, isn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. Well, they're going to be a lot nastier out there than me. Well, hopefully not. Well, hopefully not, no. Kieran's team have already set up an enclosure in the territory of that pair he spotted earlier. They shouldn't be far away. Send you home? Yep. How long are they going to be in here for? Well, it's not that long now because the parents, the, the, you know, the pair that had more chicks, won't wait a lot, around too long for, you know, to adopt, to foster these. So if it happens, it's going to happen fairly quickly? Very quickly, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fingers crossed it will. Box is empty. Yep. Fine. Now the birds are looking really healthy and already they're starting to make that little chirping call. So out there somewhere are the parents, hopefully their future parents. And as soon as they hear that call, the theory is that they'll come over and they're going to sit beside this cage and start adopting these chicks. So we're going to leave them here for maybe 24 hours or something like that until Kieran reckons that bond is strong enough and then he's going to open this cage and let them go. That's a theory, isn't it, Kieran? Yes, yes, that's it, yeah. It wasn't long before these calls did their work and the parents turned up. She looks like she can't believe her luck. But there's something in the way. How are we going to figure that out? After just a few hours, Kieran reckons that the bonding is strong enough to try releasing the chicks. And it seems like instantly they become a wild family. The adoption is just textbook. The project area is now bulging with partridges, thanks to Kieran and Patty's expertise. Some of them are going to have to strike out into the wider countryside, and that's where the cooperation of local farmers is essential. That's the next stage of the project. This is only a refuge habitat. The future for grey partridge in Ireland is, is, is farmland. It's where the farmer farms his land, makes his living, which he's entitled to make, but at the same time allows enough, enough space on his farm for the partridge. So both farmer and partridge and all of, the other, all of the other things that go with partridges survive in harmony together. If you want to learn more about grey partridges, check out our website or find us on Facebook. Next week, I'll be diving with conger eels and gathering a shellfish lunch in Dublin Bay.